the hell are you? Peckers Galactic Criminal here. This trailer came out last week and I missed it. I missed it! It's got Giancarlo Esposito. Gus Fring himself, baby. I met the man once. He was really nice. I'll tell you the story later. Let's jump in. Far Cry 6 reveal trailer. One, two, three. Oh, boy. Fuerzas ultra penetrantes. Estamos cansados de los farsantes. De lo It's beautiful, Migo. Perfect, but useless. I have something for you, Diego. Give me your hands. Papa. Now, I... the grenade is simple. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, the pin. What are you doing? Oh. Breathe, Diego. Breathe. The pin simply holds the handle in place. It is only when you let go that this grenade goes boom. What the? F Follow me. Now. El Presidente, which means that someday you will be El Presidente. And our people, they do not know how to be happy. That's fucked They're up! They're torn apart by opinions, noise, indecision, strangled by their own freedoms. And even if you have love in your heart, even if you want what's best for them, if you only want to save them from themselves, They will hate you, Diego. Everything you say, do, believe, will be wrong. Wow! They will answer you with screams. Call you evil. No and way! Master. And give you this. So you tell me, are you evil? Are you a monster? Because our country is like this grenade, except it has two basic parts. Our people. And you. And you must clutch them nice and tight or we all go. Boom. Watch more from Far Cry 6. Man! You know I'm going to be looking into some more of that. Wow! I mean, what a performance even just there. And how, I guess, man. And the footage. Could, do you think they could have known, making this game, what was going to be happening? The rioting in the streets, you got the riot cops, people fighting back, you got, you know, statues being pulled down, stuff like that. The imagery here, man, was, was powerful, and the writing, I think I'm excited. I gotta tell you, I wasn't the hugest fan of the last one, Far Cry 5. I mean, I played it, 
But I mean, I didn't even finish it. I didn't finish, still to this day, I didn't finish the last boss because there was just so much garbage I just didn't want to do in order to just finish the game, you know, like, oh, there's just too many options. I just, I wasn't enjoying it as much as I had been in, like, in the past with, like, the two and three. I mean, four was okay, too. But I like, I like the setting of this one. I like, I love the villain. I'm gonna, I'm absolutely gonna be on board for this game with uh, Giancarlo. If you saw him in Breaking Bad, the guy is, a, like, a, is awesome, awesome as a villain, but this one is, he's, he's a different villain. He's a dictator, which is it's just so very interesting. And it's like a cityscape. So that's something new and interesting. I mean, like in five, they had like the towns and stuff like that, but is this gonna be more of like a, of an actual city type deal? I'm excited to see the direction that that goes the villain like that and the way that the writing was and his like his metaphor like towards his his son essentially or nephew or something was just that was so so friggin interesting man but again seeing that it was Giancarlo and the fact that I met him at one point was very very cool and interesting to me I'll try to make a long story short it was in the Toronto for Toronto Comic Con and I think it was 2015 or 2014 I don't remember he was there I guess doing signings, I had no idea. We were there the first night, kind of missed most of that day getting in. And so we were just gonna do the Saturday or whatever. And uh, so that night on Friday, we go to go to a bar. We wanna go and get some drinks. There was no bars open for some reason though. It's like 10 o'clock at night, like why aren't any bars open? But we end up finding one that's like a block and a half away or whatever that's open, a little pub. We get in and I start to have some drinks and, and I kind of see in the corner of my eye, right? Like an elbow of like at the bar and I see like somebody sitting there and he's eating his dinner. Kind of just to himself, not talking with anybody. He's got like a martini or something in front of him. And, uh, and I see him kind of get up and he, like, like sit up and he turns and it's like, holy shit, it's Gus Fring! I had like, I think I had just kind of finished or caught up with the end of Breaking Bad. So I was still like, aw, struck by that show and everything. I saw him, I was like, man, I told my buddy with me, I was like, that's fucking, dude, it's Giancarlo Esposito, man. It's Gus Fring right there. He's like, go say hi to him. I'm like, dude, he's sitting there eating dinner. I can't, I don't want to go bother this guy while he's eating dinner. I feel really shitty about that. I, I don't know. I can't do that. I can't do it. And then, like, I kind of sat there and I like, kind of molded over for a bit. He finished his food and, you know, he was just, like, sipping on his drink. He was gonna probably going to finish his drink pretty soon. I looked. I was like, you know what? I think it would be cool if I just kind of walked up and said to the bartender, can I buy this man another one of what he's drinking there and just say hi and walk away? You know, just to be think that I could be cool in that way. What, what are you, you going to do when you approach a celebrity? So I don't, I've never really done that before. I approached anybody to say hi to a celebrity or whatever. But I did. I walked up and I was like, "Hey, Barky, can I get another one of what this guy, what this guy was drinking?" And he look kind of looks at me, and I was just like, "It's like I'm a big fan of Breaking Bad. I just wanted to buy you a drink. I didn't want to interrupt you, but I just couldn't help myself. I saw you that were you were here. I don't want to call attention to it, kind of deal." And he was like, "Dude, I," he's like, I "Think he said something along the lines of, I, I really appreciate that." And the guy mixed the drink. It was like a twenty dollar martini or something. I didn't care. I'll pay for that. And he's like, "You want to do a photo?" I'm like, are you sure there's a lot of people here? He says, yeah, whatever. And so, like, he stood next to me, and my buddy was the, had my fucking phone. He was going to take the fucking the picture with him. And fucking, uh... <laughs> and he says, you want me to do the you want me to do the Gus face? And so he did. He did the fucking... He did the Gus face. I was like, oh, man. Like, that was so awesome. I'm like, I'm so, I'm so glad you did that. You didn't have to. You know, you're, you're, people are paying money lining up to get autographs from photos with you, you know, and you did that for me. I really, I really appreciate that. He's like, okay, whatever, you know. We had a couple more drinks, me and my buddy. I just, I walked away, we had a couple more drinks, and, and we're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. So I went outside, and I'm like, having a smoke with my buddy before we go back to, to the hotel. And, uh, and kind of on the way out, I saw some people had been approaching uh, Mr. Esposito, very, very drunk people as well. And I was like, oh man, now see, I feel bad. See, I feel bad. People saw me were like, take a picture with him or something like that, you know, or somebody told them that he was there and all these drunk people are going to come bother him now. And so we're like, but we went outside where I'm having a smoke and out comes like, not even halfway through the cigarette, out comes Mr. Esposito and he walks straight up to us and he just kind of shakes his head. He's like, oh, I was like, they, they, they surrounded you, didn't they? He's like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I feel bad about that, or whatever. And she's like, no, no, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. They, they recognized me, and then, you know that that kind of thing happens. I'm just, I'm just gonna go back to the hotel. He's like, you guys have an extra smoke. You can give me. I was like, sure, Mr. Esposito, I'll give you a smoke. He's like, where are you guys staying? I was like, we're staying at the, the convention center hotel. Like, you know, I'm staying at the same place. Let's walk together. I got to walk with Mr. Esposito for a couple of blocks and just kind of talk. I was like, I'm like that's kind, of, must be kind of a bummer, you know, people coming at you all the time. He's like, no, no, it's. 
fine. It's kind of part of the job, you know. He's just, he was so cool. So absolutely cool about the entire scenario or whatever. And uh, when we get back to the to the hotel or whatever, he's like, you know, they, thanks a lot. I really appreciate the drink and the smoke. I'll see you guys later. And he left. I was like, holy fuck, that was the coolest shit ever. Just out of nowhere, meeting somebody who I'm like just right now a huge fan of and having a conversation with the guy and the interaction we had was fantastic. So, again, I think he's a fantastic actor. You know, he has that part that it was a small part in the first season of Mandalorian. But I can't wait to see what he does in the second season of that. And in this, I have a feeling he's going to be one of my favorite villains since Voss. Since Voss from number three. I think I think he's definitely going to be up there just from what we got to see here. I am excited. I am excited. So, hey, what did you guys think of this trailer? Did you agree with me? This looks fantastic. Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video. So you can go ahead and watch it for yourself. Full screen for all here. We get our full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.